Today we're going to be configuring an ether channel or port channel interface. Um, choose two physical ports on your ASA and then go into global configuration mode. So once in global configuration mode, you want to go into your first physical interface, which is going to be 02 in my case, It'll be different for you obviously. And then you're going to issue no shutdown, bring it out of the administratively down state. And then you're going to issue the channel group command. And then you're going to give a virtual interface identifier. So one is going to be R1. Mode on. There are different modes you can have. But just for this demonstration, basic, simple, you're going to have mode on. So this is now going to clear the physical configuration on the physical interface and it's going to add the physical interface into the virtual interface. Okay, so now go to your second physical interface, issue the same commands, shut down channel group one mode on. Okay, so verify that. There we go, port channel one. And then if we go to show interface port, port channel one, you can see that we have members. It's inactive at the moment because I haven't got anything plugged into it. If we go to configure our port channel interface, all the normal commands you see on an, a normal physical interface. There are a couple that are exempt. If you wanted to um, plug this into um, straight into a switch, then you configure also a port the port channel interface on your switch. Um, if it's not a catalyst switch or it's another vendor switch, I believe you will have to configure a lag, which is known as link aggregation. Um, it's pretty simple. You know, you just log into your switch's web interface and configure, just add the ports like we've just done in a similar process, but obviously not on the command line. Uh, I hope this video has been informative for you. If you've got any uh, feedback, please leave it below and subscribe. Thank you.